Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. Well, I thought we'd do something a bit different today and do a news video. The May update for Adobe XD has released and it's a pretty big update. There's a few things to talk about and we're gonna cover them in this video. So let's jump into it. You can see here I'm on the blog post page and I'll link this in the video description if you'd like to check it out. Nice big XD logo. And the first thing to talk about, and probably the biggest bit of news, is they are introducing the starter plan. So essentially, Adobe XD just became free. So if you're on Mac or Windows, you can now go and download Adobe XD for free. And you can do so using the link here. You can see it loads up a separate page that tells you all about XD and what it's used for, and then you can just download it. So if you've never used XD before, uh, you know, go and download it, go crazy, uh, it's, it's free. So, and it talks a bit more about what XD can do here. And we have this next section, the future of experience design. Over the coming months, you can expect to see significant progress in advanced prototyping and animation capabilities. Now, this is something that I'm really interested about, particularly the animation side of things. Um, I had a really interesting conversation with Talon from the XD team last year at Max and we were talking about how we could possibly integrate animation into XD. And I don't know, I'm curious to see what they do, whether it's natively integrated into XD itself or whether it's using something like After Effects. So you might take your assets into After Effects, do your animation over there, and then bring them back into XD. Um, you know, I don't know, but After Effects is commonly used to do a lot of animations, micro interactions for prototypes and things, stuff like that. So. That'll be an interesting one to see what they do with that. But I think if it was to be included natively as part of XD, it would fit with their mission of providing that end-to-end -end platform for UX design. So I don't know, exciting, but we'll have to wait and see. So another addition is the support for extending XD with plugins. So this is also really exciting because plugins for XD basically enable designers and developers to go and create custom plugins or custom mini apps within XD that do specific things. So if there is something that XD doesn't currently do, or if someone wants to create something that's very specific that they would like to be able to do in XD, they can go and create that with a plugin and we can download and install the plugins and boom, there we go, we can do that thing. And that's, that's awesome that they're continuing support for that, but they're also funding $10 million for designers and developers to encourage people to develop those plugins that integrate with Adobe XD and Creative Cloud. So they are really doubling down on uh, creating these plugins or encouraging people to go and create these plugins for people to then use in XD. So it's, it's now free and there's gonna be a ton of new plugins hopefully coming to XD that people are going to now create. So that's awesome. If we scroll down a little bit more, we've got swap symbols. So this is uh, something that I think has really developed off of the back of the asset panel. So the asset panel came in um, a few updates ago, I believe it was, and it introduced being able to change fonts, colors, and symbols. Uh, huge time saver if you've never used the asset panel. It's honestly life-changing for me, someone who uses XD very often. Um, this now feels like a natural evolution of that. It's just one of those things that's very specific, but you can now swap a bunch of symbols on lots of different artboards with a different symbol and it automatically updates across all of them. So to me, that feels like a very intuitive thing. And as I say, an evolution of uh, the kind of time-saving things that they've built into that asset manager originally. So next we have paste to multiple artboards. Again, it's just one of those things that just feels uh, very intuitive to what they're trying to do with making XD geared towards saving your time, productivity, and this allows you to copy something from one artboard. And if you've got 30 artboards, 40 artboards, 50 artboards, or 100 artboards, however many artboards you've got, you can just copy something and just paste it to all of them, just like that. So again, huge time saver, I love that. Aha, now we've got the Photoshop and Sketch integration improvements. So uh, if you didn't know, you can open your PSD files and your Sketch files in XD and it will convert them to a native file and convert things like fills, um, text, so it's still editable, all that good stuff 
This sounds like it's just building on that with more support for different things coming over from those other apps. And this is awesome. Uh, I used to be a Photoshop user last year until I made the, the definitive switch to using XD for my UI UX work. And I think this is great and it's gonna really encourage people to take that step from what they've known or what they've been working with to giving XD a go, especially now it's free as well. So that's really, really cool. Password protected design specs. Um, so design specs allow a designer to uh, share a prototype with a developer and this design specs feature makes the handover process all the more easier. It shares things like colors, fonts, um, measurements and dimensions with a developer. And now it sounds like you can add a password to that. So if you've got something that's private or if you're under an NDA or something, whatever it is, you can now password protect your design specs that you've shared. So that's cool. Oh, and we've reached the end of the blog post. So there we go, that is, that is a pretty big update. I love the fact that they continually keep bringing these updates to XD every month. And to be honest, from the very beginning, this feels like a product that has been designed for the community by the community. And they actively encourage people to go and give their feedback on the user voice forum and that helps them prioritize what to work on next. At least that's my understanding of it. I think that's really cool because the product the XD is, the beast that it is becoming nowadays, has been shaped by us, the creative people using it. So that's awesome. Um, and something else that's really awesome, I recently partnered with Adobe to create a UI kit. And if you want to check it out, I will add a link in the description. You can download it for free and uh, enjoy it. Have fun with it and uh, it would be great to know what you think. So there we go. That concludes the May 2018 update for Adobe XD. Um, this has been a bit of design news. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you like this kind of stuff, if you'd like to see more of it, it'd be good to know. But if you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.